Today I'm going to share with you my March pattern haul and mini fabric haul. And yes, I am a little bit delayed as I have stated in March, but I've been working very hard on updating and upgrading the blog that um, it kind of took me away from this channel for a moment. So when you get finished watching this video on today, head on over to ZariusCreations.com. Check it out and let me know what you think in the comments over there. All right, so let's get to it. I felt like I just collected my winnings here. So Joanne Fabrics is where I get my patterns and I always get them on sale. I never buy them at stated price, okay? So you have to check out the sales, make sure you know when they're running and then you go and grab your patterns. Don't forget to make your list beforehand so you're ready when you get there. So this month I got McCall's and Simplicity patterns um, for myself as well as for my granddaughter. So the first one is McCall's 7716. I was drawn to it for this orange pant right here. I am really liking this orange pant and um, I'm not a cold shoulder person. Um, but I did see someone with a cold shoulder that actually had a tool or organza that was actually covering. So if I um, make an attempt to do this particular top, I will probably add that. I definitely will not do an open back as I have a tattoo back there that I don't want to share with the world. But other than that, I really like this pattern. It also comes with a skirt pattern on here as well. So that again is McCall's 7716. And anything special we need for this? The back has an invisible zipper closure. Good to know. Okay. Next up is McCall's 7711. I'm sure I was attracted to the red dress here. Red is my favorite color. This is a pullover, so you really don't need like a zipper or anything. And I actually did did not even see elastic, well, two snaps in here, but I did not see elastic. Um, so this looks like it is a very easy pattern to make. It's one of the learn to sews, and I will probably be making a few of those. McCall's 7574. I was drawn to it for these tops, not necessarily the dress, but these three tops um, I wanted to make. The pant is not included in this pattern selection here, although I really do like the pant. It's really cute, but it's not in here, so sorry guys. That is McCall's 7574. Then we have McCall's 7687. I picked this up for the sleeves. All of the sleeves except for A. I am not crazy about the ruffle, although maybe if I attempt it, I may like it once I see it. But um, as of when I purchased it, I got all of it just because of the sleeves. And here's another sleeve pattern for myself. McCall 7630. I actually like um, view C, D, E, and F. I actually want to make this actual top for F, the one in the red. I actually want to make that top, um, and I'll probably just use the sleeves to add onto other garments that I'm making. That's McCall 7630. You know, we like to Franken pattern um, our patterns to make a whole new design. Then I have McCall 7432. To me, this reminds me of my favorite pattern, which if you've been watching, you know is McCall 6886. The only difference is at the bottom, it kind of flares out some, 
which I actually love in this pattern, as well as the fact that View B has a V-neck. Um, it is not a curved neck, it has a V-neck, and I like to wear jewelry around my neck, so I actually like that view, and I can't wait to make that. I got my first, well, not my first pattern, but um, I got a pattern for my granddaughter, and I like View C. That was what drew me to it, the red and white stripe. that I got for her. I don't normally sell by pattern for my granddaughter. I've actually only made like maxi skirts for her, which is a self-drafted pattern. So I'm anxious to see how this comes out. I haven't, haven't shown it to her yet. So I guess if it doesn't come out well, I'm not gonna be in so much. Of it. Here is an oldie but goodie. I don't really wanna, not really oldie. Um, came out last year. This Mimi G pattern from Simplicity 8174. I actually picked up two of these because I purchased it when it first came out in some kind of way, lost it in my pile of patterns and my huge stash that I have. Um, so I actually got two. And what I want to do is not only do I want to make this um, exact pattern, but I want to embellish or modify it some. I want to add a hood to it as well as lifting the body. You guys may have seen that there was a gray um, jersey knit dress that had been floating around the internet. Um, that kind of resembles this, but it also has a gray hoodie on it and then the body is, is lengthened. So I want to try that as well as do this original pattern. Then I have Simplicity 8591. which is a vintage pattern. And I actually got it for the picture that is actually shown um, in the live view versus the vintage view. The vintage view looks like there may be some crinoline in it that is puffing it up. And I do not want a puffy or poofy, as some may say, um, dress. I actually like it close to my body as such. And um, this pattern requires a zipper Yes, so I am being challenged with a zipper once again. I've kind of gotten lazy and gotten spoiled with all the knit patterns, um, which I am not complaining, but I am planning on stepping up my game in 2018. So I am going to be doing more garments with zippers and more garments with buttons and um, some snaps, some other things. Um, so I can't wait. And then... Lastly, I have pattern 8619, which is another one from my granddaughter. I, this little girl is so cute that I had to pick up the pattern. Um, and I, I love the dresses here. They actually have a cold shoulder or peekaboo shoulder, however way you want to refer to it, um, for the toddler. I'm not sure if I'm going to make that for my um, granddaughter. Probably not. Um, no shade or like no judgment towards anybody who would make it make it for the child i'm just not a cold shoulder type person um so i probably would try the other patterns all of them are cute though they're all cute and so that is my pattern haul for the month of march now i'm going to share with you guys some fabrics that i got it's just a few it was a mini it was more about the the patterns this month but I ran into a fabric store here on Fabric Row in Philadelphia, and I saw a couple of things that I just could not let go. Here we go. As I mentioned, I was gonna be doing that Mimi G pattern in a jersey with the hood, and I actually picked up gray, just like I saw in the picture that was floating around the internet. I got about six, let's take this off. Got about six yards of this jersey knit from a place called Joe Mars here in Philadelphia, which is like a fabric warehouse, a low pricing warehouse where you can grab some. I want to say that these are fabrics that may have either been discontinued for another store or they didn't have, they didn't sell well um, because it's not like um, a lot of designer type fabrics, but it is a go-to place when I want to buy fabric and I don't have a whole lot of money. 
I love it. So I traveled there. So I got about six yards of this. And I actually, I actually don't, don't remember. I want to say this was no more than two or three dollars a yard um, for this jersey knit here. And then, as you can see, my favorite color. I was never into textured fabric, but when I went into Fleischmann's here on Fabric Row in Philadelphia, this fabric caught my eye. With the base of it being black, there are, and I'll give you guys a close-up. Like little stringy threads that are red, as well as some sparkles that I see are already on my table. Um, there's some little stringy threads um, on it. I just thought it was beautiful. The inside is completely black. So I guess you could use it either way or if you're going to mix them. Maybe I'll do the collar in the black and actually do a dress in this actual, um, with the actual right side up and then do the collar right side down. I don't know, but I love this fabric here. So this, I got a couple of yards of that. And then this Red Beauty, this Red Beauty here caught my eye just because of the brightness of the red. I will probably, I didn't get a lot of this fabric because I did not intentionally go into this fabric store to buy fabric. But um, when I saw this, I thought maxi skirt or a high-low skirt. Um, so I'll probably make a high-low skirt out of this probably sooner rather than later because I really love this um, fabric here and I only got about two maybe two and a half yards of this and I'll leave a link in the description bar down below of the fabric store where I purchased um, these fabrics that's all I have to show you guys for the month of March um, I look forward to coming back and showing you what I made from these um, patterns as well as the fabric. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you've used any of these patterns, how easy or how hard it was um, for you, or if you franken pattern any of the patterns. And then on social media, such as Instagram or Facebook, tag me and let me know if you made any of them so I can see how you made out. Until next time, don't forget to head on over to the blog, ZariusCreations.com. Tell me what you think about the upgrades thus far, and I'll see you next time. Textured, textured, textured style. I am not a... So that is all that I have to share with you guys for my my um, sewing month of March. Yeah, March. <laughs> That's all I have to show you guys for my pattern and fabric haul for the month of... <laughs> yeah, I'm at the end. So that's all I have to show for you, show for you, show you today. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, that's all I have for you today. My sewing haul. Oh my gosh, why do I feel like I need cue cards or a teleprompter? It must be late. What time is it?